today we are going to be moving Squeak from this cage into this cage. Squeak is a nine month old teddy bear or Syrian hamster. Syrian hamsters need a minimum cage size of 80 by 50 centimeters unbroken floor space. But female Syrians are notoriously hard to please, and even with her current cage size of 100 by 54 centimeters, Squeak has been bar biting. Bar biting is a sign of stress or boredom, and if not dealt with, can lead to dental problems and infection. We tried different methods of preventing this behavior, including different boredom breakers and covering the bars. But once bar biting has become habit, it is hard to break, so we decided to upgrade her to a glass tank. Squeak's new tank is 122 by 60 centimeters, allowing plenty of space for enrichment. We woke up early to catch her before she went to bed, put her in a playpen and got to work. After getting a basic idea of the setup we wanted, it was time to begin. Well, first I proved I could fit inside it and then we had breakfast, but after that it was time to begin. For the new cage we are using three different types of bedding, Carefresh, Katie and Aspen. The first thing to go in is Squeak's multi-chamber hide. I put ripped up toilet paper in for the bedding, fill up the other rooms and it's good to go. Next is the wheel. In the wild, Syrian hamsters run around five and a half miles a night, so a wheel is essential for using up that energy. Syrians need a solid wheel of at least 28 centimeters to ensure that their backs aren't curving whilst they run. Next, we add some coconut fiber, a squeak loves to dig. I wanted the cage to have a very natural feel, so you'll be seeing a lot of moss from here on in. We added a bendy bridge and filled the gaps with moss so Squeak won't catch her toes. To replicate a more natural environment, I added a sand area. This will help to keep Squeak clean and wear down her claws. I opted for reptile sand after checking it had no calcium. I added a natural branch to encourage climbing and chewing and then finished off the area with a little bit more moss. Then it was time to begin building up the bedding. Hamsters need at least six inches of bedding. Mixing beddings together will mean that any burrows are more likely to hold. I added some starter tunnels to encourage burrowing and some of the bedding from Squeak's old cage for a familiar smell. It is important to check which types of bedding you use as some wood shavings can cause respiratory problems. Next, I added an erase platform with a hemp mat for Squeak's water to keep it out of the bedding. I put a granite tile under the water to naturally wear down Squeak's claws. We use a water bottle and a bowl so Squeak always has access to fresh water. Even though I scatter feed Squeak's food for foraging behaviour, I've given her a food bowl as she likes to sit in it. The platform also came with a little plate, so I've given her some tofu, which is a good source of protein and one of her favourite treats. I added some sprays like flax and wheat, and some final moss to really finish off that natural feel. After that, there was only one thing left to do. Add Squeak. So there you have it, one new cage and one very happy hamster. <laughs> <laughs>